Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. video for you today but I'm really really excited to do it especially with this week me being gone and pre-filming because I am hopefully ministering to the kids that came for camp so I asked you guys for ideas for videos to pre-film for this time period and I got one that was how I became a Christian I love talking about God I, I I feel like I'm like the annoying girl that always talks about God, but I do have a very unique story when it comes to becoming a Christian and kind of being introduced to God and really just the whole basis of my personal faith and my personal story. So I actually, in the early days of my channel, made a video called My Testimony. I will link it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's gonna go into way farther detail than I'm going to in this video as far as the whole back backstory of when I was born. The gist of it is, as you guys know, my parents almost lost me with having Turner syndrome and the fluid retention being so severe, even with nothing else being wrong, just with the fluid retention, they were very, very nervous and it gave me like half percent of a chance to survive to live and they were kind of counting on me being a vegetable if I did anyways. So my parents were very heavily encouraged to terminate. They actually, the doctors had scheduled a termination and did a last minute ultrasound just to make sure everything still looked the same and it had completely changed. All of the fluid that was the most dangerous to me was gone and it continued to go down, down to where there was no more fluid. My lymphatic system had started working and all of the fluid had been dispersed to where it should have been and for all intents and purposes I was completely normal and safe now. They still had the diagnosis of Turner syndrome but there was nothing they could see that was dangerous anymore. I was no longer at risk because the fluid was gone and that was a miracle <laughs> and behind that miracle was our church praying, was my family praying. I was put on a missionary prayer chain because my dad's aunt and uncle were missionaries in the Philippines at the time and so when he told them what happened they put me on a prayer chain prayer is powerful prayer works guys it's incredible and so I I heard those stories since I was nine years old but my story with God really starts before then because I don't even actually remember a time I didn't know he was there that I didn't know he existed that I didn't feel his presence there and there of course there have been times in my life where I've been maybe not as disciplined in my walk with him but I have always as far back as I have memories felt his presence and known he was there I've been coming to this camp since I was four years old and it has taught me a lot about God. I have never felt closer to God than when I'm here. It's just incredible to me. The the experience you can have when you're secluded with just what he created around you. I digress. So the, the way I really came to be a Christian is kind of muddled for me because I don't remember a time that I wouldn't have counted myself as one. I do remember making more of a conscious choice when I was about six or seven that I actually verbalized more concretely, I think, than I had before. And I knew what I was saying, that I believed in him. And I kind of by myself said a little prayer. But I don't honestly know what really would count as when I became a Christian. It's a little muddled. But but I know my whole backstory has played a major, major role for me in my faith throughout the whole rest of my life. Like I said, I started hearing those stories when I was like nine and that affected me. That seriously affected me in the sense that I had a huge foundation for my faith off of that. There was no scientific explanation for why the fluid did what it did. 
there was nothing the doctors could say to explain what happened. They were all flabbergasted by it and totally shocked by it. And two medical journals were written warning other doctors not to jump to termination, not to jump to a conclusion on what you think is going to happen. That whole story is so crazy to me because all I see in it is God. I see him working in my parents. I see him working in the doctors. I see him very blatantly stepping in and saving me. And I know that can sound really like cliche to people that aren't believers, but that gives me a very real story and a very real sense of what he's done for me. And I'm not just talking when my mom was pregnant with me, I'm talking Christ on the cross. <laughs> Like that feels like a really big other depiction for me personally of that, of saving me out of a very, very dire situation. And there really is no room to deny that was him. From my perspective, I guess, um, that has always been a huge foundation for me and that's always been a really huge comfort to me. That has been a major thing in my faith since I found out about those stories, um, since I started hearing that and have learned more of what happened since. It's, I feel like that story is really the basis of me being a Christian um, and is really the basis of my introduction to God and kind of my whole faith story. <laughs> it's an amazing testimony to have. It's a very personal and unique one and I never want to take it for granted. I get to say God literally saved me. Not just the, the normal like, oh yeah, he saved me on the cross, he saved my soul, but he actually actually within my life experience <laughs> jumped in and saved me. So it's it's really amazing to me and I can't usually ever talk about my faith without talking about that story. So that's kind of my gist of how I became a Christian and why I'm a Christian. <laughs> And I strive every day now to become closer with him, to be more like him, to go after what he has for me and to be within his will for my life. And it's a journey, but a journey that I get to walk with somebody that I trust more than I could ever express with words and who has given me a husband that I get to walk this journey with that is what I need in ways I didn't even know I needed. <laughs> So I have been blessed tenfold with a lot of different things and I'm just excited to see what the rest of my story looks like. So that's my story. That's how and why I became a Christian, kind of, for the health part. But that is my story. That is my faith story. That is my testimony. If you would like to share yours, I would love to see it. I would bleh, I would love to hear it. If you have any questions about my story, leave those below and maybe I can do kind of a follow-up or a Q&A on it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, what you would be interested in seeing. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you a little more of my history. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click the screen and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.